Hello, welcome to Energy Performance International. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to our EMS, also known as a data logger, but the EMS actually stands for Ener Energy Monitoring System. First, we have these three current transformers, also known as CTs. We always have them listed in A, B, and C. I want you to see this top part pulls off it's magnetic and you pop it back on. Another thing we'll get into when I'm hooking it up, you'll notice that this side always has to go towards the power source. Next, we have the voltage lines here. This major me measures voltage. This one right here is an ambient temperature monitor. And this is the uh, 110 that hooks up and powers the whole thing. It plugs together right here and plugs in as normal. And these two things are for the EMS. This is actually an installation guide explaining how that works. Always read it. And secondly, this is a troubleshooting guide that will help you if we run into any problems. Okay. This again is the EMS system. This on the left hand side is the EZO data logger. This over here on the right side is the watts on meter. A few things that are important. How you see it right now is how it always should be shipped to you. But always make sure that everything's connected. Make sure that this is plugged into the far left side. It looks like an Ethernet cable, but make sure it's plugged into the black one on the far left side. The white one here, again, is for the ambient temperature, and you want to make sure it plugs in like a phone jack. It should be done already, and this is for the 110 power source. I will tilt this up and show you the two things we have at the top of the data logger is the taller black one is for the cellular antenna, and then the shorter white one is for GPS. Now, if we come back over here to the watts on meter, I want you to see three, two different things. You can see the three lines for the voltage. You've got A, B, and C. It's real easy. We've got the black one hooked up to A. We have the red one hooked up to B and we have the blue one hooked up to C. Now your cables may be a different color. That doesn't really matter. You always want to have three colors, A, B, and C, and they need to always match. If you look over here, this is what the CTs hook up to. And if you notice, we have A1 and A2 hooked up. Always the first one on the left, is a white one. So A1 matches up with A1. The black one is next. A2 matches up to A2. Now we go to the B CT. Again, on the left, the white one is B1. The right one is B2. Then we go to the third CT. Again, we've got the white one on the left, which is C1, and then the black one on the right is C2. The A, B, and C here always need to match up with the A, B, and C when I when we hook them up to the, the HVAC unit. I'll show you that more in a minute. We're now up on the roof. We've got a 15-ton train unit. The very most important thing before you get started is this right here. Make sure your power is shut off. Now we go around here to the panel. We follow the power line. We see the power is coming in right here to this train unit. I've already gone ahead and taken off the nuts and the, the, all the bolts. So I now take the panel off and set it over to the side. Okay, now what we do is we track where the power comes out. We know this is the power. Here's the three uh, wires that we're going to hook the CT scanner to. This one, I track and see that this one right here is the ground. So we're not messing with the ground. We're focusing on these three right here. One, 
two, three. CTs will snap onto each one of these. I'll show you in a minute. All right, we're hooking the unit up now to the box itself. You see how we have this strapped here? This is strictly for demonstration purposes so we can point this out while we're hooking it up. You would normally hook it off to the side. But right now we have, as we showed you earlier, this is the uh, for the CTs over here. This is for voltage. This black line here, we, mar we marked it as A. What you're going to do is come up here. You see here's the power coming into the unit. These are the three main power lines. They come up and they hook up right here where these Allen screws are at. I have loosened this Allen screw. I am now going to hook A into the first one, B into the second one, and C into the third one. Okay, we now have these hooked up. This is the voltage lines. A is on the first one, you see that. B is on the second one, you see that. C is on the third one. Now we are gonna go right down here below and hook up the three CTs. I will show you that in a minute. As you can see, I now have the three CT scans hooked up. A is on this wire. Remember, A has to match that one. I followed it down and traced to make sure that A went on there. B, I also followed down to make sure it went on B, and C is over here to make sure it went on C. Remember we spoke earlier, I'm gonna pull this off. We spoke earlier, it says right here, this side towards source. Well, you can see here, this is the source of the power coming in from the building. You can see these are magnets. You cannot mess them up. You just pop them on right there and they lock on. I wouldn't go on there because I had it backwards. You turn it around, they snap right in. So I now am gonna take A again. I'm gonna find the A wire. How do I do that? I trace it down here from where the A is. I follow my finger here, I see it. This is A. I put it over that big heavy wire and I clip the top on there. Again, you have to make sure it snaps in. I now also have this pointing towards the source. Another important thing that you need to do is always keep these CTs at least an inch away from each other. You can see how B and C are close together. Sometimes I just use electrical tape and tape them away from one another. A, B, and C. You can now see I use some tape here and I held A up higher, B in the middle, and C is over there. We are now ready to plug the unit in to the 110 and test the lighting. As you can see the ambient temperature monitor right here. I have it off to the side, but I have it over right next to the coils. So we have it tie strapped right here. It's not touching any metal or anything. It's just sitting here picking up the temperature by the coil. The final thing I want to point out to you, we just hooked all those wires up and never plugged this in. Wait until you have everything hooked up to the HVAC unit before you plug it in. We will now look at how all the lights are coming on. As you can see, looking at this meter, under the V, the three lights are green. Under the I, the three lights are green. You see flashing lights over to the side for MB or MA. I can't really see what that is. But the whole key is to make sure your three I lights are green and not flashing. Your three V lights are green and not flashing. This unit's up and running now. This should be a good explanation of how to hook these up. If you have any more questions, feel free to call us at Energy Performance International. Thank you for your time, and I hope this has been educational.